What, what, why am I wasting time editing when I could be working on getting a 30k sale? Do you know what I mean? Edit though. Huh? What can I edit though? Nothing. Just like a vlog. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally vlogging. Yeah, but then to pay in someone, bro, and it's shit, she and don't want to be banging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Done, done, yeah, done, done. Why don't you do it yourself? I don't want to. You. I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fact, I don't fact, want to fact. sit down and edit on the computer. No. I'd rather do something else. It's not like I it's... love editing. Bro. I love editing. <laughs> don't get me I'm wrong. It, don't get me wrong. It is fun, but it takes hours and hours. Yeah, it's I time can't, consuming. I can't do. I, mm. It's impossible. Yeah. I wish I wouldn't get anything done. Um. So. How did you get started? Well, how long have you been going for, I should say? Uh, right, so realistically, I started, I'd say 2000. Okay, I have the idea since 2011. Wait there, one second. Cut! Yeah, so I had the idea, I got the idea, like, let's say 2011. Okay, um, quite long ago then. Yeah, then from there, like, I was just starting, like, Designing stuff, making stuff. So you just like at home, just yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, literally not knowing what I'm doing. Okay. Like, I'm sketching stuff, okay. and sending it to random factories okay. in China. Like, okay. Yeah. So you went that route first. Didn't yeah, you? did a madness. <laughs> did you waste a lot of money? I wasted. <laughs> Check it, yeah. So my first runs, yeah, I ordered <laughs> t-shirts, hoodies, yeah. and crew neck jumpers. Yeah. Okay. Every single one of those things, the size of the one. Terrible. All of them. Uh, Do you know where? None of them match the samples that I, that I originally received. Okay. It was all a mess. So what? What would you say was the? Or what have you learned since then? Or what the problem was? Did you know what the problem was? Yeah, everything. <laughs> like it was so long ago, I've learned so much now. Uh -huh. It's just in my common sense right, now right, just not right. to do anything that I did then. Got it, do you know what got I mean? Got it, got it, got but so then how no, I'm lying. So I didn't even get samples. Okay. I just ordered. Like straight away. Straight away. The I had a jaw in. The bulk. You didn't get no samples. I had a jaw in. I had some minor measurements that I thought oh. I knew what I was doing. Okay. Mm. And I sent it to him. I said I want 300 of this. Oh I did wow. A madness. And then. And they didn't suggest to do a sample bro, first. Pagans. That is mental. <laughs> Pagans. But it's so dumb because some stuff I was sampling, some stuff I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to make a jacket, I sampled a jacket. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think to sample t-shirts. Yeah, so then did you, did you manage to sell everything? No. <laughs> no. I, no, I didn't sell pretty well though. You did good. Yeah, not... Did, did you make did your money like, back? That's the main question. Um. No, no, no. Quite. I did you know what it is? I made money back. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? I made my money back, yeah? Mm -hmm. But it was probably just over so long. Okay. It did, I didn't it feel did. like it came back in. <laughs> mm, it, but most of the clothes yeah, are gone now, so yeah, I must yeah, have, yeah. you know what I mean? So then at what point did you start stop going to China and then you came back to um, After that first one, uh, okay. thousands of pounds of one. Okay. Okay. So then is that the manufacturing you've been working since um, up until now? No, so after them, I never went back to the again. Okay. Like, I realised that. So where was your first British... Um, Manufacturer that you use? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In London. Yeah. Okay. In London. And then why did you go from then there to nice. Leicester? Oh, okay. Right. So. Yeah. Nice. London's expensive. Yeah. London's crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like premium prices. Yeah, it's hard for you guys to make profit. Yeah. Yeah. If you manufacture in London. So then I went further out. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, everyone goes to China. Everyone went to like London. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, I originally stopped. Producing cut and sew, mm -hmm. and I was just switched to blanks. Okay. I was just like, okay. Because it's more profitable, easier, less but hassle. Exactly, like, makes sense. This makes so much more yeah. sense than what So, I'm why didn't you go blanks first and then go into bespoke? I didn't know. Okay, so you were just I on had a no, winging it. Literally, right, I okay. had the idea in school. Yeah. I'm sitting in my year 11 class thinking, yeah. I want to make clothes. Right. Mm. How am I going to do this? So, what was, who inspired you to make clothes? Who inspired me? Or was you just always into clothes? I've just you, always been into clothes. One day to what? I want to make clothes, yeah. I'm going to try. I've just always been into clothes and it got to the point where... Hey, shoes? Um, <laughs> I started before him. Did yeah. you inspire him? I don't know if I inspired him, but I started before him. <laughs> yeah, he probably did. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. He started around the same kind of time, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've always just been fly, innit? And it got, <laughs> okay. it got to a point where I was like, 
my flyness is limited. Due <laughs> one, due to the money I can spend on these right. clothes, yeah. and two, there's nothing out there. You there's know. nothing. Due to what I can find, yeah. I can't do what I want to do. Yeah. So let me just make it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but exactly. I didn't know how to make it. So. so then, in terms of where you are now, yeah. are you happy with where you are now? I smile when people say that. I'm not. Yeah, actually. I was about to say I'm not, but I am. You are? Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with every stage because. I dreamt to be at this stage when right. I was at that stage. Okay. And mm. the stage I dream of really next, tough. I know I'm going to hit. Right. So really? I, can, I can never not be happy of where I'm at. Which is? Which is that next stage? What is it? Um, the next stage is global expansion for me. Okay. So, like, stores globally. Okay. Are you in stores now? Um, before Corona, I was. Okay. So, what stores I was in stores in Toronto. Okay. Um, a few stores over here. Have you got PR or this is just you? So me. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I had I had outsourced PR sometimes depending on okay. what I'm doing. You should you should really try and tackle the Asian market, you know? Yeah. Because the, oh, that's what the money's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Asian Facts. How do you tackle there though? And it's usually through PR. But yeah. if you but to be honest, if someone like a scout just stumbles on your stuff and likes your stuff, yeah. you can get a connection that way. Even yeah, but PRs are PRs. Are, PR, yeah. It's really expensive. It's really expensive. No guarantee. <laughs> Zero guarantee <laughs> that they're gonna do anything for you. Yeah. Do you get like what I mean? for you, you'll be fine because I mean, see your music and your you got your supporters and stuff, so you'll be fine. But if someone who is literally just started yeah. from nothing, mm. who has no online presence, really. Mm. I'm thankful I've got a good network of people. Yeah, but look, you started in 2011, so you you would. Yeah. But if someone started today, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they start about nothing. Oh yeah, so I started in I started in 2011, mm -hmm. but like I wouldn't say it's at any real mm -hmm. place in it. I'm just designing, like mm -hmm. making a mm -hmm. few pieces here, a few pieces mm -hmm. there, then blanks and stuff. Yeah. Then I went to study at uni in 2000. Where? UCA, Arts. Okay. And um, studied fashion management and marketing. Okay. And then um, I graduated in 2017, I think. Okay, well done. And then from there, mm -hmm. that's that, that's when I would say I really started the brand. Okay. Year after year producing collections. Nice. Uh, do do, you, shops, do no. you stick to the collection drops? No. Not yeah. the formal fashion. I feel like nobody does these days. You can't really put a time on creativity. Yeah, it's that's just, that's exactly my thing. It's just as and when. That's exactly my thing. Like, I, you can't force me to because no. everything I do is a feeling, isn't it? Exactly. You can't force me to feel something. Exactly. Mm. Just exactly. Once I've done Especially it. if you haven't travelled, like COVID. A lot of inspiration comes from travelling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so if you haven't travelled anything, it's making it and just mentally everyone's in a different space now. The majority of my inspiration comes from travelling. See? That's why I think I'm with this beef of trip. <laughs> <laughs> Come back, yeah. Come back with a new album. Come back with a new album. Man's got very different colorways for you. You get me, like. I see it. I see it. I see it. No, you get me. No, I can't sit though. It's something you need to recharge. Yeah, exactly. Recharge. I haven't been on holiday in like two years. That's mad. Same. Same. Two, three years. I've been in dry England, just getting sucked up. I've been trying to like do like the little ones that I can. Or Netherlands. Okay. Portugal. Yeah. It's those ones, it's like, oh, yeah. it's the little like runaway. Do you have a team? Um, yes. Okay. Do you know why it sounds, it's mad, yeah, because think about it, I do have a team, mm -hmm. but where I'm sitting in my office every day on my own, you don't feel like it doesn't feel like it. I but feel that. If I, I need to, if I need a pattern made, I've mm -hmm. got a pattern cut. Okay. I've got a tailor, I've okay. got graphic design. Okay. Got. So then at what stage did you decide not to do the physical work and that you've been outsourced that? Um, when I realised that I do way too much already, okay. and these are extra things that okay. other people in the world can do better than me. <clears throat> right. So now that's the important. Yeah, part. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the important. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like I, I'm, I heavily believe there's jobs for everyone. Yeah. I shouldn't come and take everyone's job. No. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be the no. pattern cut. Which is why you understood when I said that I get someone to edit this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of course. you can't do everything. There's no, so many right. things to this. 
industry alone. But I feel like that's yeah. just like that's a. I feel like that's a, like. Let me let me put it in better no, words. You know what I'm saying? That's just a mentality, like. It's no, but not. That's how, and, do you know what I mean? No, it can't. You can have a skill of that. Hear what? Hear what? Hear what? You don't have a skill of that. It's a leader's mentality. You're full time job, but that's your skill. You can say leader's mentality. No, but listen, listen, listen. What leader do you know that does everything? Right. No, but you can possibly, if you did need to, like, not everything, but you have that skill. It's good to know the skill. It's good to know it. But not right. you don't have to do it all. Yeah, you don't have to like go work and do everything every day that you love. It's like, convenient. What you no, but listen. Do. So how did okay, you? It's good to know some like. How did you, know you get here today? How did you get here today? Because I woke up myself. No, but what did you get here on? A uh, cab. Right, because you didn't want to. Get on the train. Okay, you paid for convenience there. Yeah. Okay. You're doing exactly what we're doing. Okay. Same thing. Well, okay, I could have got. You could have got on the train. I could have. I could have got yeah, 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 and did yeah, myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, but sure. although it's biting your pockets, but then you even know. though man know, man know how to get on the train though. No, no, but you, <laughs> <laughs> you get what I say? Like you man know, you know how, to. yeah, yeah, you could like, if you wanted to, but you pay for. I'll get someone to make man grill, yeah. but I could learn how to make. No, also, you're missing. Also, no, no, learn yes. how to make grill, but that no, doesn't mean yes. I have to no. do that as a job. No, yeah, you're missing yeah, the point. Yeah, yeah. You're missing the point. Am I missing the whole thing? You're missing the point. You're missing the point. Okay. We were saying this because we're saying. In terms of convenience yes. and just not needing to do everything so that you can put time into other things, mm -hmm. it makes sense for us to outsource well, someone. People even, that can yeah, find it. even if it costs us more, it just makes more sense. Yeah, okay. What is that? All I'm saying is. Wait, wait, let me okay, just land, land. <laughs> I got land, land, land. Although you're disagreeing, yeah. you're doing I'm exactly disagreeing. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Because, yes, you could have jumped on a train today, mm -hmm. but we decided to get a um, at Uber yeah. because it's easier, more convenient, it's quicker, yeah. although it affects your pockets more than it would yeah. if it was catching a train. train. Yeah. 100%. 100 <laughs> But what I'm saying is, I'm not disagreeing, mm -hmm. I'm just saying that's not like that's not an excuse not to know these skills. Yeah. I hate you. It's like we as, well as, as well as that. But we don't not know how to do it. Yeah. We know how to do it. That's how we know how long it takes to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that's long. I know yeah. how long it takes, yeah. I can do it, but yeah. fuck it, yeah. someone else could do it but way you, better yeah. than man. Exactly. Okay, cool. yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. You, like, for me, I think you just got to know the skill enough to not get jinxed by people. Mm. Yeah. So, like, for example, if I want someone to do something on Photoshop, and they yeah. say it would take two days, mm -hmm. but I'm like, I know I can do that in six hours, <laughs> yeah, 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 why is it taking yeah, two yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Hundred, hundred. Really, it should take you four hours because you're better at it than I. Right, mm -hmm. right, yeah, right, right, right. That right, right. Sense. And that's a conversation I have with my pattern partner as well. Because okay. if he's having something like that, yeah. it don't take that long to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like my if I do it, stupid. if I do it, <laughs> <laughs> I do it. It takes me an hour, mate. So why are you tying me three yeah, hours? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like, so true, with though. my pattern car, it's a tip of. He's he's expensive because. He will get it done in a less amount of time. Right. So let's say he charges thirty pound an hour. Mm -hmm. Someone else might charge fifteen, mm -hmm. but he'll get it done in one hour. Mm -hmm. and They'll get it done in four hours. Right. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? So you're still though. spending less. The more people, like the more money you pay, the more quicker it will get it done. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Usually. Pay for quality, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Basically. And it's mm -hmm. You get me. Um. How did we even get into that? <laughs> what was it? What we're we're you? rolling, you know. And, uh, <laughs> that's so natural, though. That's, that's, what, that. that's why I said, listen. That's so natural. So, a funny, um, another story is, I done a BBC interview um, in 2018. Yeah. Now, after the interview, I had loads of people emailing me and saying, yeah. oh, I love what you do, blah, 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 blah. I then had a TV producer call me and said, I want to do a show on you. Yeah. Now at the time I I was quite shy and that yeah. like I wasn't really I don't like being in front of the camera yeah, or anything. Yeah, yeah. So I was like mm -hmm. and I kinda of brushed it off. Now now that I'm where I am now, I'm more confident with yeah. just the natural content that comes within my space on yeah, a daily yeah. basis. So I said from last year I've just literally started doing it, just putting the camera up and just yeah. rolling it and then putting it into something because I feel like genuinely people would love to hear this. Yeah, so yeah. a conversation. Yeah, for sure. Now, if this first series on YouTube does well, I can then go to that TV producer and say, look, this is the kind of shit I want to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to do it or not? Yeah, yeah. But what they're not going to do is tell me what they're going to tell yeah. me to do on TV. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, facts, facts. So I wanted to present him with this to show him, this is my vibe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he's still, keen, he's still keen to work with me. Do that, do yeah. that. Um, but I, just, I was just worried about how they would portraying me on TV yeah, and, yeah. and then having more control than myself. Yeah, that's like even the other day, yeah, 
um, BBC hit me up to go on a show, yeah. Which show? Uh, like a song me or something like that, yeah. <laughs> no, like one of them fashion shows, like, I think, I can't remember what it's called, The Drop, not The Drop. The drop. Is it a new show that's coming out? Yeah. I it, think it, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 it's a fashion show. Just your ex. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> Just your ex, <laughs> That would be funny. You know that show? There's a show like that where they pick the date of the person that chooses the best outfit. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, I've seen yeah, it, I've yeah, seen yeah. it, I've seen it, I've seen it. I've seen it. It's, so, good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Some men don't get chosen, you know, you can't pick <laughs> certain things together. Like, it's nuts. Yeah, they wanted man on that, but they couldn't answer the questions I needed. What, what, were the, what was it? Like, what's, like, what type of task is going to be carried out? Okay. Um, what do I win? Yeah, how basic questions. What do I win? He said, what you win is you'll be propelled into the US market or something. I said, okay. Yeah, so that's He said, I can't thing. tell you it's against term. If you that's can't exposure. tell me what you're going to do. The basics, yeah, yeah. I'm not that. Not interested. You can't, yeah. Nah, yeah, it's not worth it. You can't, make, you can't try and get me to do something with zero and something. Yeah, yeah. Not at that stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm not yeah. desperate at all. At all. At yeah, all. Yeah, so, yeah. It's yeah. fine. Well, you gotta choose, well, choose, you know, be smart with the moves. That's so. So I yeah, that's it. why I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> I love saying no's these days. I love it. The power. I love the power. I love power. it. Like, <laughs> sorry, like someone shouted me the other day just to do a show for free, and I was like, bro. I'm like, not. That, I'm not there anymore. I'm not there anymore. <laughs> and, and the way I said no, I was just like, no. Carried on my day. <laughs> <laughs> like usually, sometimes you know, if you say no, you're like, that. Bro, you even you, you gotta know. People gotta know, man. Yeah, Trust me. Gotta know your value. E even with like one of pieces, I, I hardly do them anymore because for me, no one's gonna wanna pay me what I wanna get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, let's say a suit. Realistically, people even spend like seven, eight hundred pounds for a suit. Yeah. So I have to start saying I'm not doing suits anymore because I know you're not gonna pay that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it's like a football or something, you know, mm -hmm. someone with that kind of money. There is a client base that will pay it. There is a client base that will yeah. pay it, but not the clients that ask me, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless but, I specifically target that. But to but, be fair, you're taking the piss then, bro. Because if you want a custom made suit, how do you expect to pay anything less than that? Thank you. Why? Because they go to the high street and see, yeah, they, like, what, they, like, they see 300 like, pounds or something. Like, if you want a custom suit made to you, tailored to you, yeah, yeah. everything you want in it, you can't ex Pay, expect to pay less than eight hundred pounds. No, but listen, you know that because you know how the clothing works. Yeah, yeah. But people say one hundred and twenty pounds suit in next. Thank you. So they're think, thinking yeah. you're charging eight hundred, and I can go to next. Yeah. They but then they need next. to understand. Yeah, that's <laughs> no, next. But, you know what it is but then you go to Bottega Veneta, and theirs is two and a half k. Right. And then you go to Tom Ford, and theirs is three k. You know what it is though. Sometimes it's just like, like I, I, remember I said this at Aunt Easy. I said the value. Mm -hmm. Even your name, if your name alone holds the value, mm -hmm. you'll buy it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. Like, that's what it is. It's like, sometimes you don't really need to look good. Mm -hmm. Louis Vuitton, not shiny, it's because it's Louis Vuitton. Yeah. 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 It's the name alone that's selling it. The standard that comes with it. Yeah, there's a standard that comes with it. You might want to buy it anyway because you know the clothes are pricey, yeah. but then if they come to you now and they're like, oh, you're just making clothes, and mm -hmm. brr, they're going to feel like, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a mind thing, but it's shit, it's, it's silly, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but it's like, that it's like building a building value even of your name though is like a big thing you know? yeah, yeah. even Kim Kardashian that that name alone yeah, yeah. My, even Sancho 73 million yeah. come on everyone knows it's not meant to be 73 million but because these names Jaden Sancho yeah the yeah, value yeah. of the name is just mad like Every, uh, like your buddies with the number of names thank you yeah hoodies bro hoodies <laughs> name green diamond bro Definitely does. Like Beckham, look at David Beckham. David Beckham. Yeah. Anybody with the last Beckham. name Beckham now. Mm -hmm. like his kids are just automatically The sick. name alone, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's like, people fuck with your team. Did you see yesterday on the screen? I oh, saw him yesterday with Tom Hanks. So, was it Tom, is it Tom Cruise <laughs> or Tom Hanks? With Hanks. Hanks. Yeah, it was I didn't see him. It was Tom Hanks. Ooh. Chilling. <laughs> Chilling. Man, I spotted Tom Hanks. Like, <laughs> 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 and they might not even pay for tickets, bro. Uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. They might get in sent. The final tickets. G pre final. Get me, pre final. Get me. Mm -hmm. Without even team names Actually, on it. Um, the, um, I think you know William was at the semi. William was at semis. Is it? Yeah, yeah. He's been at every game, bro. William's been at every football game, bro. So um, let me say your next step. No, is... Prince William. The man's yeah. been at every game, bro. Yeah, yeah. Team yeah. there still. Mm -hmm. I see Beckham and go at every game. Bro. Yeah, I see Beckham a couple. Of them. Couple games still. I, I know Beckham was upset yesterday though. Yeah, of course he was. Devastated. He was devastated still. 
the team is so young. I didn't realize that like teams have such young people in there. Mm. Mm. 18, 17. But again, since maybe I knew since Rooney because he was at what 16 when he started. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think really probably one of the youngest players to ever step onto the pitch, like you know, is professionally. It? Yeah, that is young. Because City is young, you know, bro. Yeah, City is very, young. very. They still have you at like. They're still scholar. Yeah, since bro. Oh, and if you're lucky, then of course, you know. Yeah. So like, you don't even go pro till 18, innit? Like yeah, 18. 17, 18 still. If you're hard enough, if you look grown enough as well. Is there anyone that you want to see in your stuff specifically? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, exactly. A few people in there. Yeah. Um, Lil Uzi. Yeah. Facts. Wiz Kid. Okay. Uh, Red Fires. Okay. Um, Gunner. Who? Gunner. I don't know that one. You don't know Gunner? You don't know Gunner. The rapper. Drip mm. too hard, don't stand to touch and look around and drown. Let me see his face. You know Gunner, man. Yeah, that's it. G-U-N-N-A? Yeah, G-U-N-N-A. Yeah, G-U-N-N-A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Koji mm. To be fair, I want to work with him. Koji, yeah. Koji. But I feel like that one's an easy one. It is. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I don't know why I haven't Anyone in this UK, I feel like it's too attainable. Yeah. Mm. Or putting Koji on it. Having just wear your stuff. Yeah. Just... You can just, that's easy, bro. Yeah, I feel like that one's, that one's easy. Super. Super. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, hey. He said, apart from me. Apart from me. <laughs> Nothing. Ah, sweaty. Lancey dresses better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lancey. You know, know what? You know, Lancey's got a weird flex. You know? I'd like to see Lancey's stuff. He's a skinny boy. Yeah, Lancey's yeah. yeah. fuck. Lancey's got some weird. He has like, that weird style. He's got a style that works exactly for him. Just yeah. for him. Yeah. Just for him. Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's not even that weird though. It's, he's a pro. He's just got rock star style. But I don't think he's like. That's a lit fit. I never see Lancey like that's a lit fit. I do. And, and he wears clothes over again. I do. But do you know what it is? He wears pieces. Like when you see Lancey, he's wearing pieces. Yeah. So he might have on like uh 2002 Givenchy full winter jacket right. on with some Ralph Simmons from 08. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? He's got pieces on. I'm saying the fit does, man. No, no, no. Lancey got, he got, Lancey got drip though. Yeah, and the yeah. things that he wears, the pieces are very sick, but I don't know, like... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, his style works exactly for him. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real though. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a bit, it's a bit... That, like, that's very high-end, isn't it? It's of course, but... Extreme. His style works for, for him, him This is a drip, though. This is a big trip. Yeah, that's why. Big trip, big trip. Like How tall is he? My tall. Is he about six like, five? Or something? Yeah, something like that. Still, I could, I could imagine. Oh, see, like six, four, is five. How tall is Leomi? She don't look too short thanks to him. Yeah, six yeah. twos or something. What's it? They're tall, tall though, you know. Yeah. And they wear tall clothes. That's it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like they make stuff that make your body look longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. it's very fitted as well. Yeah, facts. But I fuck with it though still. Yeah, that's fair. It's style and drip. Do you have a team? Um uh so I had uh one studio system slash pattern for her but she just left and had to get rid of her because of COVID. Oh yeah. Luckily she had another part-time job so uh, she was able to just go there for time. Yeah. Uh when she left, I sort of rejigged things, how things worked. Yeah. Um, so now I've just got one guy on my team. Okay. It, which is the pattern pattern. Because the pattern got any greater. Okay. <clears throat> and then I just product man manage. Um, yeah. And then my patcher. You must have a lot of tabs open in your head, don't you? You have no idea. Because you're basically idea. running loads of different brands. You have no idea. Production. No idea. You have no idea. Maximum I can do is 10 times at a time, even that's a push to be honest. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it's just I'm not too much. Because essentially, you're a production manager. I'm right? a production manager. Yeah. Um, and or anything that goes wrong comes back to me. Yeah, yeah, Whether yeah. regards to whether it's my fault or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it, I just like. That's on that. I think that's sometimes what I want a production manager. I'm like, listen, bring me back my correct thing. But I don't think I'd be very nice. Because I'm kind of mean to my team. Not mean. But no, but you are, you're going to understand the, the problems more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you know what problems occur. Yeah. So. Although you might not be nice, if you're not nice, it's because you know like people can avoid it. Yeah, mm. <coughs> yeah I've worked um, on that a lot still. I it? just, I just get overwhelmed. I have one breakdown a week, maybe. It's yeah. not that people work for you though, because like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, I don't you can get like, you know, very, like, you know what I'm saying? Emotional, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can get very like, nah. You know what I'm saying? A bit rude, like, bro. I, I, trust me, I've learned how to. Be patient with people. For example, my plan cutter, he's an older guy, he's yeah. old school. His level of communication is is very old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Messi- messenger, like messenger, what? Well, he don't do messaging or anything. Which is, I speak to every single person by our message. Yeah. This is like not really real, isn't it? Because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if me and my manager didn't have disagreements, then it wouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really like, like the only problems I have unrealistic in it. Mm. The only problems I have with my pattern cutter that we talk about is I'll come to him with a design, he'll be like, that's not conventional. It's <laughs> <laughs> not, not business. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if it's like, conventional. Like, you know what I'm telling you? <laughs> like, it's like, oh, yeah. I'm like, brother, can you make, make it happen? Yeah, this I can, happen. but I don't know if it's the matter. Right. Make it happen. Mm. This, is, this, is, this is what we, this is yeah. my pattern cutter. I'm like, it's listen. Road school, isn't it? Literally, I'm like, listen. I told you from the start that we're going to be bending rules here and there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm new school. Yeah. We're going to be bending the rules. I know what's possible. Bending up the just rules. Just do it. Yeah. I'm paying you to like, do it. We like, made, we do made it. up a slogan, break the convention. He's like, I like that. Let's do it. He's like, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Since then, yeah, he's been on it. He's like, yeah, we tried this. You've got to think about it. You're upgrading him as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Because he, he, even, I remember this one time when I was like looking for a job. I went to a manufacturer this, um, Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. I went to this manufacturer and I, said, I was asking for a job and she was like, oh, I'd love to have young people in because then you can help us with like, new ways of construction yeah. now. And back then I didn't understand what she meant because I thought, you're old school, you'd have the most experience. Yeah. But now that I'm here, I'm like, it's oh, ideas. it's the ideas. Yeah. It's yeah. the ideas. Because things are being produced differently now. Yeah. And they're old school, so they can't, it's not as quick to. Yeah. They can't. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> We've got it in school now. Yeah, they don't have it in school now. He'll, he'll be real. He'll be, like, he'll be like, give me an extra day on this one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and he loved, and my guy loves the challenge. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I love it. I enjoyed that. That's really. That's like 50, 50 pairs. 50 pairs? Yeah. I've got a few sock. I've got a few sock posts. <laughs> That's really good price. So, like, the price oh. I've been getting now for socks are like. Because I had literally had a UK supplier who chat to me recently. Yeah. Um, for socks. And the price, the price was good, so I was thinking. How was the price? 